Brothers, let me ask you a question. How powerful do you think a nail gun really is in real life? Those of you who've played Call of Duty probably know. The nail gun in the game is insanely strong. Its range is also ridiculously high. Some players even use it like a sniper. As someone who likes to explore practical stuff, I was really curious. This is a tool you can actually buy in everyday life. But is it really that overpowered? So in today's video, I specially got two different types of nail guns to find out the truth. Right now, I'm holding two nail guns, and honestly, these might be the most legit ones you can actually buy in China. The one in my right hand is similar to the one in Warzone. It's powered by air or electricity. The one in my left uses .2 caliber blank rounds to fire nails. It's said that both of them are pretty similar in power. But guys, nail guns in real life are a little different from what you see in COD. You can't just shoot them in the air. They have safety mechanisms to prevent misfires. So you have to press it against the surface to fire. Unlike the game where you just lift and shoot. Today, we're going to test the range and accuracy using the type where we can manually bypass the safety. And we'll use the more game looking one to test raw power. This nail gun is quite different from the usual ones. It uses 0.2 blank rounds to fire. And as you can see, it even has a real chamber. That's where the ammo goes. Here's what the bullet looks like. 0.2 blank round. Not sure if it's legal to buy in China, but I remember back in school, our PE teacher actually used something like this to launch stuff. And here's the nail it shoots. Roughly four centimeters long. Pretty thick too. Loading it is easy. First, insert the nail into the barrel. It's a bit like a muzzle loader. Once it's in, we open it up, insert the .2 round into the chamber, and close it. Now it's loaded, but it still won't fire in the air, because again, it's a nail gun, not a real firearm. So we need a little trick. I got a small round adapter to press against the front. Now we can manually trigger the safety and pull the trigger. Let's try it. Firing now. Whoa, this thing has some serious range. Check it out. The nail actually hit and tore a huge hole. That's some real power. But since it doesn't spin the nail, it flips midair. It's not accurate. Let's load another shot. Insert the nail. Close it. Insert the round. Wow, this nail's long. Imagine hitting someone with this. That'd hurt. This time I'll aim straighter. Whoa, again. It's got crazy power. Look here. I actually aimed over here, but it hit way off. Let's try one more time. Three, two, one, fired. Missed the target though. Where did the nail go? Found it. It hit right here. Still flew in straight and stuck deep into the wood. Couldn't even pull it out. I'm honestly excited to test the power next because if this hits a person, man, that's gonna hurt a lot. All right, guys, now for the power test. We're using this gun from a well-known tool brand, Maywodi's 16-gauge nailer. Looks-wise, it kind of resembles the one from COD or Warzone's Fransk variant. It's electric-powered with a huge battery on the back, so it's heavy. Heavier than a gun, honestly. Probably heavier than an AK. Here are the nails. They come in a row. Once we load them and lock it in, we're ready. Let's test it on a coconut first. If you've ever had one hit your head, you know coconuts are hard. One of the hardest fruits out there. All right, placing the coconut. Three, two, one, boom. Nail went right in. Punched through the back too. If the ground wasn't soft, the nail would have shot out the other side. So yeah, coconut test passed. Let's move on. Next up, stab proof vest. This one's made in China, and I brought it over just for this test. Feels soft, but there's a fiber board inside. It's not bulletproof, just stab resistant. You can hear it here. Very soft. Testing now. Three, two, one. Nail went in. Tiny hole here. Flip it over. Aw, oh, man, it went straight through. There's even a tag that says not bulletproof. But still, can't even stop a nail. That's kind of wild. Let's do some more rounds and try out burst mode. Switching to burst. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's what burst mode does. You hold the trigger, and as long as it touches something, 
it fires. Now for the final test, something actually bulletproof. A Chinese-made bulletproof baseball cap. This thing's hard. Seller said it can stop 9mm and 357 shotgun pellets. Cost me 900 yen, so if it can't stop a nail gun, I'll be embarrassed. All right, let's test it. Three, two, one. No way. The whole nail went in. Seriously? That's stronger than a bullet? How can the nail's penetration be that strong? Let's try the front of the cap now. Three, two, one. Nope. Nail went in again. Isn't this thing supposed to be bulletproof? Okay, no way I'm ending the video like this. Let's try two more rounds. I'm not giving up on this cap. Here we go. Shooting again. The bullet hit here. There's a big lump inside the cap, which means it did stop the bullet, but it couldn't stop the nail. Why? Maybe it's the material. Bullets have soft lead tips, but nails are made of iron. So iron is harder than lead. That might be why the nail pierced it. Anyone with a physics or materials background, please explain this in the comments. In conclusion, even though nail guns aren't accurate enough to reliably hit a target like in games, they're definitely powerful enough to kill if aimed right. Whether it's in games or real life, nail guns can be deadly. Do not try this at home. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.